Hello, everybody. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> I, you're already laughing. I don't know. I'm awkward. <laughs> you get shy. I'm shy. Um, how's it going, everyone? Uh, you know, you remember the other day, sir, we said that uh, London, London was red. I do recall that. Yes. <laughs> well, apparently now North London. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but apparently now North London is lily white, no longer red. Lily white, <laughs> what which the? which is the Spurs color. Well, that took a wild turn, huh? <laughs> yeah, and so we're going to kind of talk about Spurs beating Arsenal. This is kind of old news by the time this video comes out, but there's a couple interesting parts I do want to talk about um, because it was quite a shock and Arsenal fans are not happy and a lot of things are happening. We're going to talk about that. But first, we're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects on this channel, which is Rusha and Katie. <laughs> I never get tired of it. We're kind of obsessed. <laughs> exactly. There's actually an article in the the Irish Sun about it. So we're going to kind of read from this article. But as we know, Rusha and Lucy Quinn have a very popular podcast that they do. And it, it, the moments in this podcast are iconic. It seems like Rush is kind of turning a quarter, corner with going through all the emotions that she has been through. Now it's like a, a lot of jokes going on. And, Ka you know, and Katie's kind of at the... And Katie's kind of at the other end of the joke. <laughs> so what we're going to do, Lucy and Rusa just released their podcast about four days ago at this point. But there was a couple moments that happened in this uh, podcast. For the first thing I will say, Rusha was wearing an Ali Krieger fan club t-shirt. And that's kind of iconic uh -huh. because um, all the way across the pond, <laughs> as they say. No. Yeah. <laughs> like so many people in the in the States have been wearing them, you know, for Ali's last season. I wonder, though. Did she send it to Rusha or did Rusha buy it or did someone send it to her? Yes, because I mean, I, I'm guessing people have been talking about this, but, you know, the, the kind of messaging, everyone knows what Ashlyn, the, the allegations that Ashlyn Harris cheated. Everyone knows that. Whether she did or didn't, that's a separate story. But everyone knows that's kind of what everyone believes to be true. Now, Rusha's wearing the shirt because she's in her own kind of cheating situation. No, oh, she's in her own lemonade era. <laughs> She should have gotten a lemonade era shirt. Yes. That speaks volumes. So it's kind of like, hey, I'm in solidarity with Allie Krieger because we are going through the same thing, allegedly. But I think there's more to the Allie Krieger fan club t-shirt. Meaning, so Gotham is selling them, right? Mm -hmm. I think it was more like her retirement shirt. But as true as that s statement is, it's just the, the optics of it. Okay, this person is going through her own possible cheating situation. We all know Allie Krieger is, there's a reason she's wearing it. It, it can't be coincidental, just uh, over a blanket support. It's like literally specific. I mean, Rusha knows how to send a message, so yeah. I like that. <laughs> exactly. And actually, in the in the podcast, she talks about, they talk about the Olympics, about Great Britain not qualifying for the Olympics. And then kind of like the, the question was, they said, Olympics really aren't on the map for Europeans as much as they are on Americans, for Americans. And then Rusha's like, I love Americans. And she pointed at her t-shirt. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So that was number one. Then, so if you listen to the podcast, I'm sure everyone's listened to it. It's iconic. There's two kind of moments that were kind of iconic. Um, and I guess I guess to make it easier to streamline, we'll read from this headline. Irish outrage. Robbed again. Rusha Littlejohn and Lucy Quinn issue cheeky Katie McCabe verdict over Ireland games trend. Rusha Littlejohn and Lucy Quinn jokingly suggested the the latter was robbed of a recent player of the match award by katie mccabe on the latest episode of their podcast life's a pitch <laughs> i like that the ireland duo reflected on the side's historic fixture at windsor park while it wound up being a 6-1 route for the girls in green it took until the 37th minute before quinn broke the deadlock the birmingham city attacker then turned provider within 90 seconds as she whipped in a teasing delivery for Heather Payne to prod home. Since she was at the heart of the game's decisive opening goals, the 30-year-old made the case that she should have taken home the player of the match award. However, unfortunately for her, it ended up in the arms of a familiar recipient. Little John, who dated McCabe for seven years, expressed expressed faux outrage on behalf of her of her co-host she stated you had a very good game didn't you you were robbed of player of the match this prompted a reply from quinn drop dripping with sarcasm she said oh yeah oh yeah who won that one then flipping hell who is voting for these <laughs> little john went all conspiratorial at this junction claiming katie's mum <laughs> said before but still clearly someone is mrs mccabe didn't mind too much though as she was among scores of fans who expressed their amusement at the, t at the teaser clip for episode two. 
Sharon McCabe commented a string of crying, laughing emojis. <laughs> so we take it neither she nor the Arsenal ace is too perturbed over the accusation. So yeah, so that was hilarious. First of all, you know, who won the award? Katie. Katie McCabe wins it again, you know. And it, you know, should have been Lucy Quinn based on the qualifications of the match maybe it should have been i love that katie mccabe's mom is able to <laughs> i love that she comments on it and laughs she yeah. loves it katie's mom's like very much in the comments people have even told us we hadn't seen it they're like yeah katie's mom kind of like i don't know it's like defends katie but kind of defends her and also isn't on the laughs too so that was hilarious and then but secondly so i don't know if that came first or this came first in the podcast second thing that happened that was hilarious this is the part most people are actually talking about if you remember the game um 6-1 against northern ireland we actually did a video about it rusha took a free kick free kick and katie and rusha set it up and so they were setting it up and you know first of all that was kind of cute that they were setting it up together you know they're back on the pitch together then lucy quinn in the podcast says oh i thought that was just for the cameras i thought you know you guys were setting it up and not only did i think it was just for the cameras i didn't think Katie was going to let you, you shoot the free kick. And then she goes, and all of a sudden, Rusha's, you know, skying the free kick. Oh, she stole it from her. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be funny. They both went up at the same time. <laughs> yeah. And Lucy goes, I was shocked. A, you got to kick it. And B, you guys set it up. And that Katie actually allowed you to take it, which I everyone thought was the cutest moment. And then Rusha has the greatest comment ever. She said, very Rusha comment. Yes. She goes, it must have been the guilt. <laughs> oh, not it must have been love yeah, it no. must have been the guilt wow and i mean whatever means she whatever way she means to say that it's hilarious either which way you know it must have been the guilt she feels guilty about doing me wrong about cheating on me it must have been the guilt she let me take a free kick loved it and i love that it seems like rusha and that was kind of the other thing i was thinking you know how we've been talking for so long. Are they ever going to become friends again? Ever become mates again? Are they ever going to be able to have a friendship? You know, maybe not best friends. It just seems like they've turned that corner where Rush is like, we're friends. We may, we might not be the best of friends yet, but we're cool. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> and I was also thinking that this is like the first time in, since the World Cup that Rush and Katie have been around each other for an extended period of time. So it's maybe like the first time they've really had to be in the same space as each other because maybe they had some type of maybe they talked to each other maybe they had some type of understanding maybe they just felt more comfortable around each other because it was first like prolonged time they had together so I was I also thought about that and that actually makes sense that they're just like you know we're gonna move on or, or something of that nature yeah yeah but they, they seem yeah they seem cool with each other yeah. And I also think if they weren't as cool, Rusha was, wouldn't joke like that necessarily. Maybe, maybe not. But I think that makes me think that they're in a good place. Yeah, I agree. Because we really didn't talk about this too much. But Rusha, um, she had talked about she was in therapy and that therapy was really helping her. And apparently some like Arsenal fans were giving Rusha a hard time for getting therapy. I, the way my mouth just <laughs> dropped. <laughs> So yeah, so the fact that it seems like they're in a good place because I don't think those jokes could have happened if they weren't in a good place. Oh yeah, obviously. But you know what they say, the comedians. Oh the, yeah. The, the biggest comedians are the ones hurting inside the mouth. Yeah. I have heard that. But those two moments must have been the guilt and uh, because, I mean, obviously we know that everyone, that's what everyone thinks and, you know, between the, and the Ali Krieger teacher. Okay, so did everyone see that? Number two thing, you know, we talk about Katie McCabe. Katie McCabe first talked about Arsenal losing the match to Spurs on Saturday. We're recording this on Sunday. And that was kind of a shocking loss for a lot of people. They lost 1-0. It's a WSL match. 1-0 to Tottenham. And it was it was not a good game. I think most people, they're saying all that hard work to beat um, Chelsea. You know, we want to win the WSL title. All that work, hard work out the door. This is from an Instagram comment uh, on Arsenal's page. Not going to sugarcoat the defeat. Our keeper should have done loads better with that goal. Should have closed it down before the shot or been ready on her toes. Third March, I'm expecting better. And yeah, so a lot of people are blaming Manuela Zinsberger because if you do look at the goal, it was pretty shocking how slow the ball rolled in for her not to even shift her weight to try to stop it. Um, but a lot of people are blaming her. I don't blame her because it's no one's perfect. I don't know how to say that. But but then again, a lot some people are defending her by saying, Nor I normally criticize Manu, but I blame Catley for, th for that one. 
backed off Bizet too much. We cannot be dropping points like this. Makes che- makes the Chelsea win redundant. Yeah, so a lot of people did did uh, say, you know, although she may should have maybe tried to stop that ball, can't blame one, the keeper, you know. And also a lot of people were just saying, you know, they had like 21 shots and they couldn't connect. The, you know, they weren't finishing anything. So if you have like, it was like something wild, like 21 shots, not one went in. Well, sometimes people have really bad days, okay? <laughs> the planets are aligned or are unaligned and yeah. the moon is mooning and the werewolves are out, you know? <laughs> right? Cause, and, I, and I feel bad for Manuela because I think a lot of people are putting their, um, her, blaming her, which it's hard, you know. But, you know, a lot of people are talking. It looks like Mary Earps is coming over. They're signing Mary Earps, uh, which would be major for the team. Yeah, that'd be so epic, exciting. So... You know, a lot is going on, and, and that was the last game before the break for Arsenal. Um, but after the game, you know, the one other thing we want to talk about, everyone was high emotions. A, they lost. There was actually, I saw a TikTok of, it looked like um, Lotta Wobinoy was mad at Manuela. You could see her kind of, not aggressively moving her hands, but it could have been her just frustrated at the whole situation, but it didn't look directed at Manuela, but it could have been. But I did see that TikTok. And also, at the very end of the game, there was like pictures of Katie crying, like teary crying. And a lot of people were like, why are why is Katie crying? Obviously, they lost. That's not good. But a lot of losses happen. And, you, you know, you don't necessarily see someone getting teary like that. And I see this. I saw this tweet on Twitter. And the person says, why is Katie in tears? Because a lot of people said that something happened. Is she just upset about the loss? And then people are saying, when she got subbed off, she was limping and got handed some ice. Hope she's okay. Who wouldn't after that performance, someone said. Someone else said, Prob- probably the same reason I'm in tears, not going to lie. I turned it off. Someone else just said, we just lost the league. Someone said, is it because she got injured? Well, I'm in tears too after that performance. She's not special. Oh, dear. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so it was two thoughts. Maybe it's because they lost and that's horrible. And then maybe it's because she actually got injured. So I guess we won't know. I don't know if there's an update. This is by the time this video will go out, it'll be a couple days after, but it will be interesting to see. So never, never happy to see Katie in tears. I don't want to see anyone in tears, but no matter how beautiful a crier someone is, it's always sad to yeah. see sad tears. Yeah. <laughs> but then also I'm going to say this and then we're going to go, but you remember last year, before the winter break for Arsenal. And the last the last time they played, a lot of the, the players were in tears. I feel like a bunch of players were like very emotional. But then we found out one of the reasons why they were very emotional, everyone knew Jordan Nobbs, that was her last game, remember? Mm-hmm. And then she moved over to Aston Villa because she wanted to get more minutes to, you know, to get on the World Cup team, which happened. So maybe they know something that we don't. So maybe something's going to shift. Maybe one of the girls who have been there a long time is leaving. Or maybe they're just really upset that they lost that match when they just beat Chelsea and one loss can determine whether or not you win the league or not. Yeah, could be a million things. Yeah. So it was sad to see Katie in tears. You know, I don't want to see anyone in tears, but hopefully she's not hurt. And if if she is hurt, she has a couple weeks to get on the mend. But yeah, what did everyone think? I mean, Rusha not being shy and I'm hoping that Rusha's in a good place. You know, it keeps seeming like it gets easier and easier and not as... And time heals wounds. Yeah. As they say. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, Sarah and I are huge Ali Krieger fans. And hopefully, you know, if there is a double message from that shirt, I'm not mad at it. Subliminal messages? Yes. Ooh, interesting. Um, but I think, I, think, I think it was kind of gutsy of her, too. And also... Uh, if Katie did cheat on Rusha, that sucks. But hopefully Katie's able to say, you know, if I did cheat on Rusha and Rusha's expressing herself this way, I'm not going to be mad at Rusha for expressing herself after I cheated on her. Enough of the cheating word, okay? Calm down. <laughs> Sorry, I hate when I say that word. <laughs> it's very naughty. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but what did everyone think? Um, questions, comments down below. Um, do Arsenal fans, I hope people are still optimistic about them winning league because I definitely think they 100% can win. Yeah, totally. Questions, comments down below. What did everyone think? We'll talk to everyone later. Have a great night. Bye.